Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about ethnobotany. Ethnobotany is a study of regions, plant and their practical uses through the traditional knowledge of a local culture and people. This is a picture of Philanthus embolica which is an example for ethnobotany. Common name is Amla. It belongs to family Euphorbiaceae. Part used is the whole plant. Philanthus embolica is highly nutritious and is reported as an important dietary source of vitamin C, mineral and amino acid. All part of the plants are used for medicinal purpose, especially the fruit, which has been used in Ayurveda as a potent Rasayana. Rasayana means rejuvenator. Uh, it also used to control premature graying of the hair. It is act as a cooling agent. Fruit bark and leaves are used in tanning. Tanning is a process which permanently alter the protein structure of the skin, prevent it from decomposing and turning it into a stable material. Stem infusion used as a blood purifier. The bark cure toothache. Decoction of the fruit was used to control dysentery by tribal people. This plant is called Philanthus amorous. Common name is Nelanelli. Belongs to family Euphorbiaceae. Part used is the whole plant and its uses are to treat snake bite, common cold, jaundice. It is an important plant of Indian Ayurveda system of medicine which is used in the problem of stomach, genitourinary system, liver, kidney and spleen. Hemidasmus indicus it is called as Indian Sarasaparilla, the common name, and in Kannada it is also called as a Sogade Beru. It belongs to family Ascalpidaceae. Part used is root and its uses. It is widely used in treatment of oligospermia, means deficiency of sperm cell in the semen, gastritis, anorexia, and it is one of the Rasayana plant of Ayurveda as it is anabolic in its effect. It is used for venereal disease, herpes, skin disease, arthritis, rheumatism, gout, epilepsy, epilepsy, insanity, chronic nervous disease, abdominal distension, intestinal gas, impotent and turbid urine. Terminalia jabula, common name is jabula jabula. In Kannada, it is called as hale. It belongs to family Comritaceae. Used is part used is fruit. The fruit also provide material for tanning leather and dyeing cloth. Terminalia jabula is the main ingredient in Ayurvedic formulation trifala, which is used for kidney and liver dysfunction. The dried fruit is also used in Ayurveda as a Cardiotonic, hemostatic, diuretic, laxative. Laxative means a substance that loosens stoles and increase bowel movement. It is reputed to cure blindness and it is believed to inhibit the growth of malignant tumors. It is allegedly also a powerful detoxic agent. Strike nose, nukes vomica. Common name is Nukes Vomica or Poison Net. In Kannada, it is called as Hemushri. It belongs to family Lagoniaceae and the part used is seed. It is used to treat anemia as a tonic and as an appetite stimulant. Men use Nukes Vomica as an erectile dysfunction. The Nukes Vomica is used as a rat poison. That is because it contains strychnine and brucin two deadly chemicals nukes vomica is recommended for upset stomach vomiting abdominal pain constipation intestinal irritation hangover heartburn insomnia certain heart disease circulatory problem eye disease depression migraine headache nervous condition problem related to menopause and respiratory diseases in elderly. In focal medicine, it is used as a healing tonic and appetite stimulant. Nukes vomica is a common homeopathic medicine prescribed for digestive problems, sensitivity to cold and irritability. Aloe vera. Common name is Kumari or Lala Rasa in Kannada. 
belongs to family Liliaceae. Part used is succulent leaf. Aloe vera contains something called proteolytic enzyme which repair the dead skin on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner which makes the hair all smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevent itching on the scalp, reduce dandruff. The leaves and the root of aloe vera is used in the form of a juice to treat spleen enlargement, epilepsy and uh, inflammation in penis. It is also used to cure jaundice and headache. Bohiravia diffusa, common name is Punarnava. It belongs to family Nictaginaceae and part used is whole plant. Punarnava is a rich in many medicinal property like diuretic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-arthritic, antibacterial, immunity booster and anti-aging. It helps in arthritis as it reduces inflammation and pain in joint. Bohiravia root is listed in the Indian pharmacopoeia. Plant part applied as cardiotonic, hepatoprotective and laxative. As a diuretic, it is useful in jaundice, enlarged spleen and other internal inflammation. In moderate dose, it is successful in reducing asthma. A decoction of the root is also applied to corneal ulcer and to treat hair night blindness. Vitania somnifera, common name is ashwagandha, belongs to family Solanaceae. Part used is the whole plant. The root are highly valued and are used either alone or in combination with other medicinal plants to treat variety of elements. Ashwagandha has been priced top notch, adoptive, adoptogenic in tonic in India for 3000 to 4000 years. Adaptogenic tonic means the herb used to support one's energy and it also helps in reducing the stress. The plant contain alkalide, vitamin and somniferin which are used to treat nervous disorder, intestinal infection, leprosy and leprosy. The root powder is used to cure diabetes and anthrax. The leaf extract used to increase fertility. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button. Subscription doesn't cost you any money. To get a notification, click on a bell icon. Do like and share this video with friends and family. If you have any kind of feedback, do share it on a comment box. Thank you.